everyone, I'm Lauren and I'm back with another movie type review. This time I'm looking at Mary Poppins. Um, I watched this for both my Oscar Picture nominee challenge. It was nominated for the Best Picture in 1964 and I also watched this for my Disney and related stuff challenge. Uh, obviously this is from Disney. This is a pretty famous movie, I guess. Uh, musical. It has a lot of numbers. And uh, this was a rewatch for me. I, I hadn't watched it in a really long time. I think I watched this originally on a VHS. So yeah, and I don't think there was a DVD version at the time. So that kind of might indicate how long it's been since I've watched this. But I'm sure I don't have to go over the plot too much because it's pretty well known. Mary Poppins is this nanny that comes to help out with these two kids that kind of cause a bit of trouble and she's kind of magical and they go on fun little adventures throughout the town and all that. Not a very complicated plot, but it doesn't have to be. It's a pretty whimsical, fun movie and does a good job at that, I think. I was worried to rewatch it because sometimes you like something as a kid and then you watch something again as an adult and then it's like, this isn't as good. But this is a classic, so I guess it's a classic for a reason and it's very catchy music. I don't know, I just really liked all the dances and the musical numbers are really catchy and sweet. I think everybody does a really good job acting wise. Something that I did notice this time when watching it that I didn't notice as a kid as much is some of the effects did look impressive for what I thought would be hard to do at the time. I didn't write down what that would be, but I just remember watching it and I was like, oh, that's that looks like that would have been difficult to do. Um, I guess maybe Mary Poppins floating around. They have interaction with animated segments that are like, how did they do that then? I have no idea. To be fair, I don't know very much about old movie making stuff, but I can kind of imagine what they might have some capabilities of and I'm like I don't know how they did that and so I was really impressed with that kind of thing. What else to say about it? It's, it's hard to talk about this because it's not a very deep movie but it's an entertaining one and I mean that's fine. I don't, I don't not everything needs to have a hidden message or whatever and that's fine or a deep plot. Um, one thing I do I will note is that this was kind of the one of the first times that I started to recognize actors and actresses faces actually. Uh, something I have a problem with is uh, I have some face blindness or I'm pretty sure I do. It's not like it's diagnosed or anything but I have problems remembering people's faces and I get kind of confused with certain people. They just they look the same to me and then other people go no they're not they're completely different. That's fun but in here, uh, the character who plays Mr. Banks, the children's father, I recognized him. He's from Bed Knobs and Broomsticks, which is a movie that I need to watch for this, um, for the Disney challenge as well. But it's one that I've seen as a kid and I really like that one. So I recognize him from there. <laughs> I'm like, wow, I recognize him. He's really awesome in, in here too. He plays the um, kind of stern father really well and it's really fun to see Mary Poppins twist his words in a way that kind of gets her to do what she wants to do that Mr. Banks doesn't want her to do. It's, it's very fun to see that in particular. So I just kind of want to see what else he's in and watch those too. I don't know how much, how many movies he's in and how good they are but I don't care. And I don't remember the actor name either because I'm, I'm terrible with names as well. That's all I have to say. But let me know in the comments below if you've watched it and if you haven't, are you interested in now? I do recommend watching it. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again in another video. Bye.